Hi everyone. So what we're going to do here is we're going to walk you through a general committee and then at any point that there's something interesting to tell you about, we'll cut back to us and tell you about it. If you have any questions about any points or motions that we touch on in the video and you want some clarification about it, feel free to check out our website after. Delegates, please take your seats. Committee is about to begin. This is the United Nations Disarmament and Security Committee. If you're in the wrong place, leave. It's now time to take attendance. I'm going to call the roll. Point of personal privilege, Chair. I'm freezing. A point of personal privilege, as you've just seen, can be made at any time when the climate or environment of committee is severely disrupting your ability to produce. But don't be that guy. You know what I mean. Go. Now that that's been taken care of, let's get back to the roll call. Afghanistan. Reason. During roll call, you can say that you're present or present in voting. Or in the case that you're not there, you'll be marked as absent. If you say that you're present in voting, you may not abstain from voting on a resolution later on in debate. All right, now that the roll has been called, are there any points or motions on the floor? Action. USA. Motion to open debate. That is in order. Debate is open. Are there any points or motions on the floor? China. The People's Republic of China motions to open a speaker's list with a speaking time of one minute for the purpose of setting the agenda. That is in order. All those delegates wishing to be added to the speaker's list, please raise your placards at this time. The speaker's list is the default form of debate. If nothing else is going on in committee, the chair will automatically revert back to the speaker's list to decide who speaks next. All nations be to speak in opposition of this motion. China, North Korea. Judy, now have the floor for 30 seconds. This motion is used to set which topic is going to, going to be debated in committee first. This motion also requires that two speakers speak for the motion and two speakers speak against the motion. That motion is in order. All nations wishing to speak in favor of this motion, please raise your placards. Djibouti, USA. All those wishing to speak against this motion. All nations wishing to speak in opposition of this motion. China, North Korea. Djibouti, you now have the floor for 30 seconds. We now vote on Djibouti's motion to set the agenda to topic A, nuclear prol proliferation. All in favor, please raise your placards. All those opposed? This motion clearly passes. The agenda is set to topic A. Are there any points or motions on the floor? USA? Uh, motion to open the speaker's list with speaking time of one minute. This new speakers list, the one I was referring to earlier, will be the default form of debate for the rest of committee until the topic is finished. The same rules for yielding apply to this speakers list as well. And action. That motion is in order. All nations wishing to be added to the speakers list, please raise your placards at this time. United States. China. Afghanistan, North Korea, United States, you now have the floor for one minute. When you're done with your speech and you still have time left on your clock, you have three options for what to do. You can either yield to the chair, which makes your time disappear. You can yield to comments, which allows two delegates the opportunity to make 30 second speeches pertaining to the content of your speech and you can also yield to questions, which allows the chair to choose a delegate to ask a question of you, which you can then respond to. Are there any points or motions on the floor? Djibouti. Motion for a 10 minute moderated caucus with one minute speaking time to discuss methods of securing nuclear waste. That motion is in order. Are there any other points or motions on the floor? Motion for a nine minute moderated caucus with a 45 second speaking time to discuss reducing existing nuclear that motion is in order. Are there any other points or motions on the floor? USA? Yes, um, uh, motion to table the chair. 
<laughs> that is annoying. That motion is out of order for now. Seeing no other motions, we will now vote on the motions on the table in the order from most disruptive to least disruptive, starting with China's motion. All in favor, please raise your placards. All those opposed? This motion clearly passes. China, you now have the floor for 45 seconds. The delegation of the People's Republic of China believes that we have that there are too many nuclear weapons out there. We're looking at you, America. Yeah, the delegate that was born in the toilet factory. <laughs> the moderated caucus is another form of debate. In the moderated caucus, you will be discussing a subtopic of the larger topic. The first person to initiate a moderated caucus and call for this motion will be the first one to speak on the speaker's list. You will designate the time for the entire moderated caucus and the time installments for, each, for which each person will speak. So we are all in favor? Yeah. All in favor? <coughs> all opposed? Perfect. That is in order. Are there any other points or motions on the floor at this time? No further motions on the floor. We will now vote on Djibouti's motion for an unmoderated caucus. All in favor? All opposed? This motion clearly passes. Action. China, you now have the floor. The delegation of the People's Republic of China believes that we have that there are too many nuclear weapons out there. We're looking at you, America. Yeah, the delegate that was born in the toilet factory. A motion for a right of reply is only in order when another delegate makes a personal attack against you or the country you're representing. At Upmonk, these motions must be submitted to the chair in writing. Motion for a 15 minute unmoderated caucus. That motion is in order. Are there any other po further points or motions? Seeing none, we will now vote on the United States' motion. All in favor? All opposed? This motion clearly passes. The rules of debate are just now suspended. Another aspect of debate is the unmoderated caucus. In an unmoderated caucus, you will be able to mingle with other delegates and start forming blocks in order to in order to work on your working papers or later on in debate your draft resolutions. At this point, the United States, along with others who helped write their resolution, who are known as sponsors, will be able to come to the front of the room and discuss their working paper for a set amount of time. After they're done discussing their working paper, another block will come to the front and discuss the next working paper. Please return to your seats, delegates. This unmoderated caucus has expired. Are there any other points or motions on the floor? Motion for a 15 minute moderate, unmoderated caucus to work on merging working papers. That motion is in order. Seeing no other motions, we will vote on this motion. All in favor? All opposed? This motion clearly passes. Please try to be back within an hour. Delegates, please take your seats. This unmoderated caucus has expired. Are there any other points or motions on the floor? Motion to suspend the rules of debate in order to introduce working paper A1. Each resolution group or block will have the same opportunity to present and take questions. This question and answer session is now expired. The chair would look favorably upon a motion for an unmoderated caucus to discuss amendments. Hungry? Motion for a 10 minute unmoderated caucus to discuss amendments. Resolutions are edited via the amendment process. There are two types of amendments. There are friendly amendments and unfriendly amendments. Friendly amendments are amendments that all of the sponsors of a resolution agree to. If all of the sponsors of a resolution agree to an amendment, that amendment is automatically included in the resolution. Unfriendly amendments, on the other hand, do not have the support of the entirety of the sponsors of a resolution. Unfriendly amendments require one-fifth of the body to act as signatories and a simple majority vote at the end of debate before the actual resolution is voted on. This unmoderated caucus is now concluded. Delegates, please take your seats.
Are there any other points or motions on the floor? USA. Motion to close debate and move into voting procedure. That motion is in order. Are there any other motions on the floor? Seeing none, two speakers against this motion are in order. All those delegates wishing to speak, please raise your placards now. China, North Korea. China, you have the floor for 30 seconds. We will now vote on moving into voting procedure. All those in favor? All those opposed? This motion passes. Someone close the doors, no one's leaving. Okay. <laughs> we will first vote on China's unfriendly amendment to the United States resolution, which reads as follows. Declares the United States to be a violation of all international laws ever. As an unfriendly amendment, this needs majority to pass. All those in favor? All opposed? This motion fails. We will now vote on the United States resolution. All those in favor? All those opposed? This resolution passes. Clapping is in order. The type of debate you've just heard about is mostly used in General Assembly and ECOSOC committees. The next type of committee will be the Crisis Committee, which is generally a more advanced experience for more advanced delegates. The Crisis Committee operates a bit differently, in which it uses moderated caucuses instead of a speaker's list. There are three main forms of action you can take in a crisis committee. The first of these actions is called a directive. Directives are the crisis equivalent to resolutions. A directive introduced to your committee is an action that your committee as a whole will take. There are also private directives. Private directives are actions that you yourself take based on the portfolio powers that have been given to you because of the role you have. In order for these to succeed, you must have the ability to take that action. For example, the Secretary of the Treasury wouldn't be able to order troops into battle. Yes, the next form of action you can take in a crisis committee is the communique. The communique allows you to send a note to other world leaders in order to work with them in committee. The communique is something like sliding into someone's DMs, and the relevant part is that they'll always reply. The third action you can take as a crisis character is submitting a press release. A press release is voted on by all members of the Crisis Committee and will go out to the entire world. An example of a press release is... The esteemed representatives of Mars would like to ask all Earthlings to take us to your leader. And that's the end of our video. Because you watched this video, we can personally guarantee you absolutely nothing. But we hope you enjoyed it, and we hope you learned something in the process. We look forward to seeing you kill it in committee!